Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, Kailash here with another video for an install and preview for the OnePlus 5T. We're going to check out Candy ROM based on Android 8.1 for the OnePlus 5T today. So we're going to see the install process and then we will just go ahead and go through the settings menu, the user interface and uh, we will do a quick look at what works and what doesn't and this is something that you guys have really really liked. Now let me know in the comment section if at a later stage you want me to do a real life ROM review which will be a part of you know which will be a review of three episodes on three different days on how the phone is when installing this particular ROM and before we begin if you haven't already please check the latest giveaway in which you stand a chance to win a brand new Redmi Note 5 Pro at the same time if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe hit the notification bell icon so that you get to know whenever I upload a brand new video for you guys once again hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials let's begin Alright, so first let's have a look at the features of this ROM. Now I know we are looking at the Redmi 4 and not the OnePlus 5T. The reason for that is the OnePlus 5T right now is in uh, TWRP recovery. So it says uh, Candy 8 built straight from source with commits from a variety of different source ROMs. We wanted to give the users a fun, fully customizable ROM. We aim to add more features as the project progresses. So basically this is based on Android 8.1 Oreo built directly from source. And if you go to their thread, there is a ton of customization that uh, they have already mentioned. So you can go ahead and check that out. Meanwhile, so that's about the ROM and that's about the flashing steps. It says if you're coming from another ROM, download the zip, download all your Google apps, boot into recovery, full wipe, everything is needs to be wiped. Flash the ROM, G apps and you're done. All right, so moving on to the OnePlus 5T, we are on Oxygen OS 5.0.4 with uh, latest code works universal TWRP so no need to install the firmware because we are already on uh, Android Oreo and this is a 8.1 based ROM so what we're going to do is wipe advanced wipe and Dalvik cache system data we're going to wipe those except for internal storage because that's where the files are so we're going to install the ROM and then add more zips and Google Apps so it's been a couple of weeks, I was not with custom ROMs, not with uh, any custom ROM on my OnePlus 5T, enjoyed the stock experience on uh, 5.0.3 and 5.0.4 and uh, now the video that should follow tomorrow would be the install and preview for uh, Lineage OS 15.1. Uh, I'm planning to stick to Lineage OS for uh, you know two to three days so that I can make a real life ROM review on that. If you want a real life ROM review on Candy ROM let me know in the comment section uh, right now it's patching the system image and uh, and then it will install the google apps now the google apps that we are looking at right now are from openg apps the pico version of 8.1 All right, so we are on the home screen. I've completed the setup and uh, reduced the brightness for you guys. And uh, what we see here is nothing. So we have Play Store, uh, the camera, clock, not much there. And this is the settings menu. It says finish setup. We will do that later. And uh, we have kept it on do not disturb because otherwise I might get a call or notification. Um, let's go to about phone and let's see the first thing here it says candy roms uh, android 8.1.0 5th february 2018 is the security patch so yes probably the latest uh, security patch i'm not sure if the march one is out yet uh, the version of the rom is the official one the build date is 26th of february all right so let's go to the notification bar and it definitely looks a little better compared to some previous ROMs that I have used and if we go to settings uh, obviously we have the customization option that is candy shop uh, now 
again this is something very very similar to what i've done in the past with a few other roms but the setup looks a little different so let's go to buttons you have these customization options here if you want to have a detailed look into it you can just uh, you know go ahead and uh, pause the screen and check that uh, you can go to torch screen off power button torch you can go ahead and probably double tap power or long press power to toggle torch then you have lights notification lights battery charging lights the power menu you can customize the power menu for advanced options wake on plug toast vibrate on plug then you move on to the lock screen customization media cover art can be disabled then you go to status bar you can change the battery icon style there you go it's gone to circle and then you can keep it portrait you can enable network traffic status bar items heads up display and stuff like that nav bar settings do we have fling i hope we have fling we have fling okay so then i can stick to this rom as well because uh, fling is something i really really like it's a very good uh, gesture based navigation system then you have multitasking uh, customization options as well all right so after that uh, if you go to candy shop again you have status bar navigation multitasking so those are all the customization you have gesture anywhere as well so that means no matter what screen you are on you can add custom gestures you can select different options so that's your customization now apart from this let me you know real quick have a look at the camera now remember this is a install and preview video so we won't be doing a in depth analysis of everything that happens in the videos that we have for you know daily rom reviews and stuff let me just click a picture real quick now uh, already i can see flickering so that is the rear camera and we're going to move to the front camera uh, this is the front camera so yeah let me just show you the camera quality real quick uh, i won't post it to the screen you can just have a look at the screen right now so this is something that i just clicked while i was shooting there is some amount of background blur uh, but then again uh, it, it's nothing compared to the stock so this is the front camera so you know camera continues to remain a weak point when it comes to uh, the custom roms but what we're going to do is uh, tomorrow when we install lineage os 15.1 i will uh, go ahead and try to install the google cam mod and we will see if we can get that camera to work on front and rear portraits and stuff like that so that is that uh, this looks like a solid rom at least when it comes to customization features and the look i will try substantum and uh, maybe i will try super su at a later stage but uh, yeah uh, so what we will do is we will end this particular video here uh, this was the install and preview of candy rom though it is a beta it looks very very solid in my experience of around 10 minutes with this particular rom which is i understand it's a very very small time but then again i have not had any major issues at all so if you wish you can go ahead and uh, give this rom a try and uh, you should not have any problem you have uh, trusted devices on body detection voice match and stuff like that so all the google options are also there you can install google apps the links for this particular roms thread will be found in the description and don't forget to participate in the giveaway and stand a chance to win the brand new redmi note 5 pro so once again guys thank you very much for your time if you like this video you know what to do and if you didn't mention in the comment section why you didn't stay tuned for the next video which should come out tomorrow about the install and preview of lineage os 15.1 which will be followed by a daily or real life rom review for that particular rom once again thank you for your time goodbye